Jacob here, gonna do something a little different today. Don't care about some white dude's YouTube intro? Skip ahead through those chapters down below. Hell, just go down to the description. The whole list of restaurants are already down there for your convenience. Anyway, if you've seen our other videos before, you'd know that we curate the perfect list from tourist and nature spots to restaurants and bars. One of the hardest parts about writing our videos is taking the 30 or so restaurants we love and narrowing them down to just half a dozen picks. Keep in mind that we also try to pick a diverse variety of all types to cuisines, vibes, and price range. So today, we're gonna talk about one of the best cities to eat in the country and suggest 20 top-notch restaurants in Austin, Texas that you must absolutely try. We'll just rapid fire through them in no particular order and just talk about the food, vibe, and maybe mention some specific dishes by name. All right, here we go. No guests, no B-roll, no BS. Let's do this. It's not hard to find Thai food in Austin, but no restaurant compares to Thai Fresh. All your classic favorites, from Pad Thai to Drunken Noodles, are here. Some of the best Thai in Texas. In 2016, Thai Fresh famously eliminated tipping and increased menu prices to offer benefits like health insurance and paid days off to full-time staff. Definitely a trend ahead of its time. For date night, head to the Peach Tortilla, a cute Asian fusion restaurant that specializes in shareable plates. Try the Dan Dan Noodles, the Lush Pork Belly Bowl, or the Texas-influenced Southern Fun with braised brisket, kale, bean sprouts, and wide rice noodles. If you're not ending your meal with the Asian movie night dessert, then you're not doing it right. Bonus spot, there's also their sister eatery, Bar Peached, a bar-focused restaurant concept serving cocktails, tacos, and Asian-inspired comfort food. Kome is a laid-back eatery offering reasonably priced home-style Japanese fare from sushi to ramen. The vibe is somehow casual and fancy at the same time, perfect for a romantic dinner or casual lunch. At the moment, they've been takeout only since COVID, but rumor has it that they'll bring back dine-in soon. A rumor that I just completely made up. Just like Thai Fresh, there's only one place that comes to mind when someone asks for Vietnamese food in Austin. Our answer is always Elizabeth Street Cafe. This charming outpost offers French breakfast bites and creative Vietnamese plates for lunch and dinner. The inside is small but endearing, with additional seating outside. Juan in a Million has been serving Mexican breakfast and lunch in East Austin since 1980. Open 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily, you'll find yourself in line with early birds and hungover zombies waiting for Juan's cheesy migas and breakfast tacos. Don't miss the Don Juan Taco, which is a secret combination of potato, egg, bacon, and cheese in a deliciously hot tortilla. For less than $7 and basically four tacos in one, you won't need to order anything else. Now, if you think Juan's is laid back, then wait till you see this taco shop inside of a gas station. If this isn't the definition of hole in the wall, then we don't know what is. Tacos Ivan has all the tacos your heart desires from breakfast to lunch, and we highly recommend the green salsa to seal the deal. Trust us when we say that you don't need a cool logo in your own flashy building to make good tacos. Looking at you, Torchies. It's hard to come up with the objectively best pizza in Austin, but we have no doubt in our mind that almost everyone loves Pine House pizza. Ever had a banh mi pizza? Or how about our favorite, the honey pear? Olive oil, cheese blend, sliced pear, caramelized onions, blue cheese, prosciutto, basil, and honey. And their beers are extremely popular. In fact, you'll find them in just about every gas station around town. The most northern restaurant on this list is home to the best southern style food in town, the Rolling Rooster. The black-owned eatery has some of the best chicken and waffles you'll ever have. Their perfectly seasoned batter is used on everything from chicken wings to shrimp to okra. From their canisters of in-house Kool-Aid to their delicious sides, their food will hit you right in the soul every time. Bird Bird Biscuit was just named the number five place to eat in America by Yelp. Need we say more? Yes? Oh, oh, okay. The menu is minimal, with eight sandwiches to choose from, including biscuits, sides, drinks, and dessert. Like their dodos, biscuit donut holes tossed in cinnamon sugar. Let's sidetrack and talk about dessert. This Portland-based ice cream shop expanded into Austin last summer. One of the owners was inspired to launch the store after a trip to Auckland, hence why the ice cream is described as New Zealand style. The fruit ice cream is blended to order with a limited number of options. 
Another dessert spot we adore can be found in a food truck in the south part of town. Churroco makes everyone's favorite Spanish donut from scratch every day. Keep it simple with the traditional order in Mexican coffee, or get crazy with a special menu full of interesting toppings and ice cream. Operating in the same building since 1946, Sandy's makes what we like to call homestyle burgers. Meat, cheese, and a buttered bun with the basic fixings. So how does a burger joint get these few ingredients and make something unique and tasty? We're not exactly sure, but Sandy's figured it out. Order an old fashioned with cheese or make it a double if you're hungry. And don't forget a butterscotch shake on the way out. Jew Boy Burgers is a food truck turned restaurant with a non-kosher menu centered on burgers and burritos filled with beef, cheese, hatch green chilies, as well as latkes. There's also chili dogs and queso, among other sides. If you know another spot that sells a mashup of Mexican and Jewish fare, then you let us know. There's pub fare and beer plenty at Gorman's, which keeps its kitchen open till 10 p.m. and the bar open till 11. Choose from a host of some of the best sandwiches in town or keep it on the lighter side with chips and queso. Sit inside the dark dive-like bar or snag a picnic table out back on a nice sunny day. Holy Bagel offers fresh-made New York-style bagels and sandwiches for breakfast and lunch every day, along with a wide range of baked goods and sweets. Try one of their bagel signature sandwiches, like the staple Nova Lox, or their take on a Reuben. This once coin-operated laundromat now houses one of the best new American restaurants in town. This chic cafe has an ever-changing menu that caters to both lunch and supper visitors. The way you do launderette right is to share everything and do not, under any circumstance, skip dessert. Foreign and Domestic is Austin's original farm-to-table dining experience. Grab a table inside their tiny eatery or outside on a beautiful day. However, our recommendation is to grab a seat at the counter to watch your meal come together by a well-coordinated kitchen staff. The menus change seasonally with a heavy chef inspiration. You can't go wrong with any entree options for both brunch and dinner. Just make sure to start with their must-try popovers. Our go-to spot to watch sports is always and only at Haymaker. Tons of TVs, a projector, bar games, beers, and a great food menu. There's burly comfort sandwiches, poutine, and classic bar snacks. Now, Haymaker doesn't actually identify as a sports bar and still makes for a great time even when a game isn't on. Don't want to wait in line at the world-famous Franklin's? Go for the brisket and sausages at La Barbecue or any of their fun sandwiches. Even the sides are bomb, like kimchi with sweet pepper and cucumber or chipotle cold slaw. Pro tip, you can skip the line entirely if you pre-order. <music> Lastly, Valentina's melds the best of what Austin has to offer, smoked meats and tacos, down in the most southern located restaurant on this list. Head to the trailer for some of the best barbecue, tacos, and sandwiches in town. Also, mornings are dedicated to excellent breakfast tacos, especially the real deal Holyfield, with a fried egg, reed fried beans, and opt for the giant sliced brisket. Real quick editor's note, I just got this email about Valentina's moving to Buda, which is this little bustling town just south of Austin. So just keep in mind if you plan on visiting soon and you want to check out Valentina's, then you may just make it in time to check out their brand new location. All right, don't click off the video just yet because we didn't even get to our favorite spot. Huh? This spot? I don't know if you can see it. We wanted to dedicate our top 20 restaurants to restaurants that are, you know, normal where you, you order, you sit down, you eat, no gimmicks or anything weird like that. So here's five honorable mentions that have a bit of a twist to it. Meanwhile, Brewery just celebrated their one year anniversary a few months ago and has been the prime outdoor hangout backyard in Austin since their grand opening. This 3.7 acre beer garden is packed with patrons every weekend and includes a turf soccer field, children's playground, live music stage, and four food trucks. Distant relatives for barbecue, Pueblo Viejo for Mexican, Doughboys for pizza, and Besame for ice cream. One more editor's note, they actually just this week added a fifth food truck, Smoke and Bon Me. So there's also that. Bolden Acres is just like Meanwhile, if not better. Too bad it's smaller, more crowded, and in the heart of a busy area. But hey, 
If you find yourself a table, then you're all set. Play some pickleball and other lawn games and grab some grub from the food trucks. CM Smokehouse for barbecue and Gringo Loco for Tex-Mex. Okay, you may be noticing a pattern here. Indoor and outdoor seating, lawn games, food trucks. Yeah, you can say we have a preference. Radio, coffee, and beer was one of the first in Austin to create the backyard hangout aesthetic, and it shows. Grab a cocktail, beer, or coffee from inside and go find yourself a spot in the Texas sun. Can't forget the food trucks. There's Veracruz All Natural for Mexican, Briskets for a barbecue slash biscuit concept, and Didi for Northeastern Thai food. Antonelli's is a snug market with artisanal cheeses, cured meats, bread, and sun dries, plus wine and craft beers. The idea here is to place an order for a charcuterie board, grab a bottle of wine or two, and head to a local park for a nice picnic outing. There's various tray sizes to choose from, so pick whichever fits your party. And last but not least, we have the best farmer's market in Austin, the market at Mueller. Every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., shop fresh produce and natural foods from local farmers and vendors. There's plenty of food tents serving hot meals, all within Mary Elizabeth Branch Park, 3.5 acres of playscapes, grassy expanses, volleyball courts, a dog park, and various seating as well as room to picnic. Now you may be thinking, how did this idiot not put ramen tatsuya on the list? Well, we'd recommend you check out the Austin video from our Destinations Explained series, where you'll find a few more of our favorites. Link down below. Thanks for watching. Let us know of any Austin restaurants we may have missed down in the comments below. And let us know if you like this new series. It was super fun to make. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.